With just days left until the official launch of the Nintendo Switch, almost all hardware specs have been confirmed, except for the RAM, until now. It's been a very, very busy past year since people started to really get into speculating, leaking, and even trolling the gaming community about anything and everything Nintendo Switch related. I will have a link in the description below to all the previous Nintendo Switch and NX videos in case you want to go down memory lane, or if you just want to see how much of the old speculation and rumors we got right. Anyway, we've all known for a while now that the Nintendo Switch will have 4GB of RAM, or at least it was highly speculated from all the leaks until Nintendo themselves confirmed it, but we never really knew the actual specs of the RAM such as the type or even the speed. This isn't going to be a long video, so without further ado, let's just dive right into the RAM specs. The Nintendo Switch RAM will be provided by Samsung using their LPDDR4 memory chips. The Switch will be equipped with two memory chips at 2GB each, totaling 4GB. Each RAM chip will run at a speed of 1600MHz, resulting in a total bandwidth of 25.6GB per second. One thing to note is that the RAM is not exclusive to one chipset, so the 4GB of RAM will be shared between the CPU and the GPU. These RAM chips aren't anything too new, they have been equipped onto various smartphones and other smart devices, such as Samsung's Galaxy variants. When compared to its competitors, the Switch has 50% less RAM, which could be seen as an issue. Overall, the Switch is still the weakest in terms of raw hardware power when compared to its home console competitors, the PlayStation 4 variants and the Xbox One and Xbox One S. But remember, this is a hybrid console and doesn't really have any apples to apples real competitors, so to speak. It will all come down to how efficient the developers could be with the Switch's hardware to squeeze out as much performance as possible. And if the gameplay trailers of games that were showcased like Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild are anything to go by, the Switch definitely has potential to stay competitive and give the competition a run for its money. And besides, let's not forget that Nintendo has always been more about having a fun gaming experience as opposed to having raw power or photorealism graphics as its top priority. And at the end of the day, let's be honest, isn't having fun while gaming what it's all about? Share your thoughts in the comments down below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for future videos, and until next time, this has been GTR Bytes.